this Daf Yomi Yerushalmi in the article of Mitzvah Shviz. Article of Mitzvah edition. We are on Daf Lam. We're supposed to be in Daf Lam and Zayim and Ramayov. Uh, yesterday, at the end of the show, I made a mistake. I said we already got finished Amud Av and Lamed Ches. No, yesterday we finished Lamed Av and Lamed Zayim. So we did all of Lamed Zayim and Amud Av yesterday. It's only six lines, and we're up to the almost equally short. Uh, the Lamed Zayim base. Mil said the Rabbi Yirmi Amra. The Vilna is one, two, three, four, five, six, eight lines down on Yudal Amanov. And Mr. Uh, Abiyermia, this is, a, as they say, a mama musgar. It's kind of a parent, not a parenthetical mark, but it's like a tangent. Uh, the uh, the uh, leaves of the loof plant can have uh, bure, uh, even though the root does not have bure. Uh, yeah, and that's uh, where we're talking about the loof shaita. This is my daughter. She has no bure. The Leaves. Shame sabe tov davar she ain lo biur. The the roots. Yeish lo biur. It does have biur. And then we have to consider be a big chiddush. Not sure why, but uh, that is the what we are saying here. Uh, perhaps oh I know it because the, yes we mentioned yesterday this this alum plant is a uh, it's all of it is that all of it is poisonous. All of it can be made edible by the proper process. So if the uh, roots, which are not, um, the roots are not a chayv and beer, they don't have the why should the leaves have the glutus shvis? But most of the amra that, no, even though they're both equally edible or inedible, nevertheless, we, the, the, we can have this possibility where so it's just chayv and beer is, shoots out of something which is not chayv and beer. So now, how's Rabbi Yirmiyah going to explain our Mishnah? Our Mishnah said that uh, he would explain our Mishnah. The initial explanation was uh, of Rabbi Yirmiyah was that um, our Mishnah said and the um, the uh, the the leaves are um, the they weren't going to because it's not it's not a prevalent. Uh, uh, it's not pre- prevalent. It's uh, not, not used so much. So therefore, um, there's no way to speak. Uh, but then the Gemara asks a question. Rabbi Yosha asks a question. What do you mean? Uh, it says, then uh, Bryson says, Ali Lufale Batsalim. And by Batsalim, there's no such thing as a Batsal Shoite. So, uh, okay, so what is he going to say now? So, Patala Bishishikev Balim. So, uh, we're, we're really, we're talking about a smart loof, not loof shite, the smart loof. And so, at the end of Shishi, it's the sixth year, he, he beat the um, the leaves and he separated them from the primary part of the plant. But that he shows that he doesn't want to do a shvitz. doesn't want them. And these leaves then uh, wilted. But then afterwards, they went up on, they, they rose again and started growing on. Uh, 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 during Shemitah. And in this, the there is no Isra Sfichim because it's, uh, yeah, it's a loophole. It's a loophole like we will see, um, per, well, I'm not sure we're going to see in Shemitah, but it's in the Ushami of Baba Basra, uh, um, Perakei Yalacha Aleph, that Sfichim Sh'olu Betoch stay boor, stay near. Sfichim, which grew in a, uh, a, 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 in a field which was Fallow or a field which has been plowed uh, are, are mutter. It's only sfichim which uh, grow uh, in, an, uh, uh, in an uncultivated area. It's a place which has not been, uh, uh, a place which grow wild, sorry, which grow wild where there is a uh, problem with sfichim, but not if it's in an area which is normally cultivated. Um, and in this case, we talk about shishikif alin. Shikha Shikhev is like, like Shkufos is like beaten up. And uh, so we're talking about here where uh, our mission is talking about where 
uh, they, um, uh, you, uh, you really didn't want to do this growth in Shemitah. It's not, it's similar to the case of, of Sadeh Bur and Sadeh Nir, but it's not the same case. There there's no Gzerv Shvichim, and here, it's similar that there's also no Gzerv Shvichim, because since you show that you don't want it, you beat off the leaves. You don't want it. So therefore, we're not afraid you're going to go and cultivate this. So, so therefore, if it grew again, after you beat off the leaves, you shake them, you push them off, so then it's not, there's no, no way to speak it. Okay? So that's our mission. Let's talk about this is Shikei Bali. Okay. Um, and this is how it's going to work by onions. And I would say the, the same thing with onions. You beat them and show you didn't want them, and then uh, they grew on their own. So then there's no issues for him in, in the, that case. And by both of them, you could have a scenario where there's going to be a Kedusha Shviz, even though, uh, in, uh, and uh, applies to them, and they're not also because of speaking. Okay. Now, the next scenario is Rabbi Yassi, 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 where before a share of Shemitah. Not to leave name Rosh Hashanah you you planted this move before a share of Shemitah. The Asa, and it it it, uh, it produced, it, it grew, Beit Sim Livnei Shviz. And the Beit Sim is an interesting term here. It, it laid eggs. In other words, it grew stuff. Stuff grew before Shemitah. Uh, and then the, there's no way of Shemitah. Because it already grew before Shemitah. So there's no Yisra Shemitah on it. But how get Yisra Shemitah? The Rikano Bishvis. Rikano is a, a language as the Kabbalah of Hatia, bending over. So he, 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 he inclined the loof to the ground. He shook it in order to, to, to uproot it that it shouldn't grow. But a little part inadvertently remained in the ground. So uh, the, uh, the and you left it there and started growing it. So there's no, there is no, um, it's of speaking because the, the, it was very growing during Shishis. There is Kedusha uh, Shvi's uh, 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 because it's, it's it was basically almost dead. And then it came back to life during Shemitah. So it has Kedusha Shvi's. And when you okay, Motzei Shviz, of course, it has Kedusha Shviz, and therefore we have this issue of uh, the Cheshbon, which you make with Anim, how much belongs and how much belongs to the Baal Okay, and so it says, my in Tamar, if you're going to say, Rikun uh, Ikor, Akor, that Rikun is like completely uprooted, so then Kul Anim, Havich, Okor and Anim, because that means whatever grew in six, six year bygones or bygones, this is the seventh year produce. But because it ain't Rikun Kikor, but the other hand, if you say Rikun, it's not like Kikor, it's bending over, it's not like a Buddha. And Kukul Anim, the whole thing is not as long to Anim, because it's still it's a Gruen Shishis. It's crop of Shishis of the sixth year. So, the interesting thing, Umi Safek Yasuk Keshbanim Anim. So it's like a compromise. And since we don't know what the status of Rikun is, so therefore, because we have a suffering in the status of Rikun, we said it's kind of like a yachloku by you, according to Sumchus. So we said the, the Aniyim and the, um, uh, and the, although it's not the same thing, but, but the Aniyim and, and the Baabites uh, uh, split it up uh, because they have uh, both claims to it, and we can't have, we don't have a definitive ruling either way because we don't know what the status of Rikun is. And that brings us to the bottom of uh Lamed Zion and Rebates. And uh although the type of Lamed Chesim Rav is not a new thing, but it is a uh, a new answer to Haran Sana Mishnah. So we'll stop here. <laughs>